Welcome back to another Unturned video. In today's video I will go solo on a Washington server and we will go from a spawn to getting some really high tier loot and at the end even raiding a base. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. Also if you haven't subscribed yet I would really appreciate it, we're trying to reach 50,000 subscribers zone. Last video's mythical giveaway winner is shown now and today we're going for another one which is a musical tombstone bulldog. If you want to win this mythical make sure that you drop the like, subscribe and comment something below anything that you want. Channel members also have a higher chance of winning. Also currently in my discord there's a giveaway happening where if you guys participate you are guaranteed a free skin in Unturned that, that could potentially also be a mythical. If you guys want to participate in this event make sure to join my discord over at discord.gg slash ldg and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys we are in solo Washington. I have absolutely nothing so let's hope we get ourselves a good run today. It is dark but... Obviously, we're gonna try to get ourselves from over here, maybe like a chainsaw or something like that. That would actually be really good. If I get myself a Schofield or a Monster, yeah, I'll be happy. Oh, there's a dude in here. Oh, he hit me. Bro, he only has a pedal. Come on, man. I hit him once. Bro, come back here. Come back here, boy. If this dude... Oh, he killed me. All right, no problem. I lost my sight. Wait, I spawned here again. All right, this, this dude is not gonna expect it this time. I'm going there. I'm gonna murder him. I'm gonna destroy him. But yeah, for today, I want to obviously try to get myself, um, Rax Ridges or something. Get myself a base down. Raid a base. That's really the only plan that I have for today. Yeah, bro, it's clueless. There we go. Rax to Riches. We got ourselves a compound bow from... Oh, Monster Kids. Oh, oh let's go. I didn't even see that the first time. Alright, we got ourselves a gun. So, I'm really happy with that. I right hear eagle fire shots over at the town. I am going to go for that. We got ourselves a chainsaw too. Perfect. Let's salvage these. Got ourselves some metal. Let's make ourselves some meds as well. Actually, I'll keep them for the bed. Let's go try to kill this eagle fire guy. We can maybe get ourselves a better gun than a monster key. Oh, there's people right over here. Bro, there's like... Bro, how many people are here? One, two. I'm gonna die to the third guy. Oh, I'm dead, man. Bro, I blasted two of them, but there was a third guy with the ego fire. This is so sad. All right, well, lost the monster key, no problem, but at least I got a decent spawn. Military spawns over here, so yeah, let's try to get ourselves something good from here. Heartbreaker or Saber, all happy with it. All right, so I did manage to run halfway across the map. Looted Heritage as well, got myself a 7x, nothing, nothing that crazy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building a base. We're very close to uh, military. This is going to be a first base. I think I'm thinking of doing two bases for today, actually. Where this base won't be my main base. It will just be a, a temporary base. And the base close to military. So that if, for example, there's PvP going on over here. And I need to quickly store some stuff or whatever. I would just come over here. And that's it. I'm just going to do a one by one. Probably nothing that crazy. And then the second base, I'm thinking of doing it over at the plane crash. I think that would actually be um, a much more chill area. Far away from people. So it should not be a problem. There we go. We got ourselves a one by one. Beautiful. Now I need to get myself some, some cloth for a bed. And we got to make ourselves some storage as well. So that is what I'm going to do. Server requires a generator kit. So that we're going to have to do that. So that it doesn't decay. So I think that's what's going to be my plan for now. Having two bases... This base is just a, a, a decoy, I guess you can say. A small base where we could just put ourselves some stuff. Just in case we die close to military, there's whatever going on in military. Oh, there's a dude right there, actually. And just take him out. There we go, he's dead. Let's go and see what loot he had. Hopefully he had a heartbreaker or something, because I don't really want to roam with Sabertooth the whole time. And then later on, we'll go and build the second base, which will be my main base, where we would put all of the good loot inside in, inside that base, basically. Alright, let's just use the zombie to get on top. Bro, kind of rubber bands when you jump on the zombie, though. Come on, man, let's do it. Bro, it's like I'm dancing with him. There we go, alright. Perfect. Let's get ourselves that vest as well for metal. Salvage it. Let's go check out what's inside the barracks. Nothing that crazy. We got ourselves a heartbreaker, though. Ourselves a muzzle for it as well. Let's put that on it. Alright, let's see what bro had. He does have some stuff by the looks of it. Oh yeah, he has a heartbreaker, makeshift scope, fire axe. That's actually really good. I needed that. Alright, we got ourselves an extra heartbreaker as well. Lovely. We're gonna salvage the clothes so that we can make a bed. Now we'll run back, place the bed. And we will continue looting, trying to get raiding gear more than anything. 
today's video is sponsored by Pine Hosting. Are you guys trying to set up your own network for Unturned? Then look no further because I got the best option for you, which is Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting is very easy to learn, the notification is super user friendly and not hard at all to master. The servers all have high performance with DDoS protection. When I started my own network a while ago, I had no clue how to do anything, but after a few minutes of looking around, I learned the basics shortly. They have locations all around the world and the pricing is super worth it. They also have a variety of game servers to choose from, including Rust, Arc, and also Minecraft. A game changing feature is the ability to install plugins and mods just by clicking once. Also, if you have a server with another provider, you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will help you move your servers. Make sure to check out the link below and use the code LDG for 30% off, and let's get straight back into the action. I got myself a bed. Oh, I hear maple strike shots. What? Okay. Well, obviously we're gonna go for that. But first, let's actually make a saw. Get myself some planks so that we have some storage. Make myself a, a crate as well. And after this, we'll go and start building our second base. I don't know if I should take Saber or the Heartbreak. I'm gonna keep Saber here and I'm just gonna put the 7x on the Heartbreak and we're gonna go uh, try to get this Maple Strike. If we get a Maple Strike this early on Washington, that's actually insane. That's the, on the only way to get a Maple Strike is from uh, Airdrop, so... Yeah, here we go. Maybe our 1x1 one one base would actually be enough to, to defend and have insane loot like Maple Strike. That's actually crazy. By the sound... Oh yeah, he's still here. I hear Maple. I think he's just killing zombies though. I think he's just tapping out zombies. Oh yeah, I see him. Oh, he seems geared actually. Oh, this could be like one of the richest people on the server. I need to wait for the perfect moment to kill him then. As soon as I kill him, I gotta get out of here because he may have a sky bit. Oh yeah, he's going up. Right, there we go, he's dead. Yeah, let's just take his loot and dip. We'll go build the second base instantly. Oh, he oh my god, bro, he is geared. Bro, look how much metal he has. Yeah, he's just farming metal. Uh, let's literally take all of it. Let's take as much as we can fit. We got ourselves an elite spec as well. That's actually really, really good. All right, beautiful. Yeah, we did leave a little bit. Honestly, I don't care. Bro, we got enough metal as well to make as as much lockers as we want. Bro, that is crazy. Got a spec ops vest. Yo, let's go. Now, that is a Rex, which is right there. We had a saber too. Got one kid, which had a heartbreaker. We had a heartbreaker, and then we got a maple strike. With all of this metal... Honestly, crazy. Alright. Yourself some teeth pants as well. Just make a bunch more lockers that we can make a metal floor, so why not? We're just gonna upgrade this base into a, a 2 by one full metal, actually. Why not? I think that, that's much better. And then we'll do like a, a doorway full metal as well, so that that one by one will actually be full metal. So it'll be three charges for people to raid. Even though there's not gonna be anything in this base. It's better to have an airlock anyway, just in case we do get door camped or whatever. Right, let's put the pillars over here. Lovely. Still gotta get more, I think. Actually, we could salvage one of the walls. And uh, even though it'll be wooden, but at least it'll be a 2 by one for now. Now we'll put the roof. Alright, lovely. Beautiful. Alright, so now, as I said earlier, I am going to go and build the second base. I'm gonna leave the Ali spec here. I don't wanna lose it. Just in case I die. And even the night vision. And that locker is actually insane. Alright, here we go. Let's go build our next base. Alright, so I found this base, which is actually perfect. It is, uh, I don't even know if it's traded or it's not even finished, but all I need is a leather and a hatch, and that's it, it's my base. So this is my second base. It's literally exactly the perfect spot that I wanted it to be. All I need to get is just a bit of fuel, and the base would not decay at all. So yeah, the base is literally right over here. We could see the heli from here as well, almost. So if we hear shots going on, that's definitely over the heli, so we could easily counter it. So yeah, very nice, very nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna roam around the map, try to find uh, PvP, kill zombies, try to get loot, maybe try to find myself some raids that we could do later on. And yeah, hopefully we'll get ourselves, we'll get ourselves some good loot. I'm liking how the, uh, I'm, I'm liking how we're going right now already. As a solo, got myself some pretty nice loot already. Pretty nice rag searches, there we go, we got ourselves another bed. Obviously this will be my main bed. The other bed is just going to be there. Whenever I'm at military and I need myself, for example, to run inside depot or whatever, it's good. It's like a, it's like an extra stronghold, basically. That's literally it. I made a bunch of splints by mistake. Let's take that ammo, lovely. I got myself some crates, so now we can start filling up this base as well. Put the bed. All right, great. Now I do recommend that you guys actually build uh, multiple bases so that if one base gets raided. That's okay, you can quickly go to the next base and your loot is, like, split. So if one base gets raided, you didn't lose all of your loot either, you know? Oh, I hear a car. Somebody's dro- oh, bro's on a bike. There we go, he's dead. He was just chilling on his quad, but yeah, he's, uh... Oh, he's actually in a duo. 
So the server restarted and not a lot of people joined back. Shouldn't really be an issue, honestly. Hopefully more will join later on. I brought a crossbow, a bed, and an axe. I mean, we'll take it for a metal, but... You know, nothing really that crazy. I made them into splints again, bro. I did not want to do that. I keep doing that by mistake. There's base. I saw a base, by the way, next to um the dead zone. So maybe it has some good loot over there. It's close to the heli crash, so maybe he farmed zombies or mecha zombies. So we'll try to give that raid later on uh, a try. Obviously, we gotta get raiding gear first. Oh, there's a bro here. There we go. He's dead. He had a heartbreaker. I want a shadow. I'll take that. Alright, let's kill this uh let's kill these zombies. Alright, yeah, let's take them. I don't know if I I don't have space for these heartbreakers. I really should have brought the Elise back with me actually, but it's in my it's in my first base right now. Yeah, he basically looted in here. Now we are back in our, our second base. Let's depot. And we'll go on around on the opposite side now. We'll go around Seattle military and, and all those areas. Oh, there's a dude here. There we go, he is dead. Oh, he had some attachments for me. Wait, I hear zombies. I think there's more people around. Let's med up. Zombie could have just been coming for me, actually. Like, from the bottom of the map. Oh, we got a Detto. Oh my god, what? Bro, I've been looking for a Detto for so long. There we go. Alright, now we can start making uh, charges. We can start raiding soon. Yeah, we're back. Oh, we gotta make more storage, actually, as well. I'm gonna make some... Um, I'm gonna make myself some lockers first, though. There we go, we did get ourselves a blowtorch from our first base and transferred it over here because, you know, blowtorch is very, um, very useful. Let's put all of these in here, lovely. Now we still gotta get ourselves, like, some raw grenades, basically. We do have a bit of grenades here and there, but we're obviously gonna need a little bit more. So we're going back to farming. Alright, beautiful. This video is gonna be, like, like, how to go from racks to just as a solo, kind of, because that's exactly what we're doing. We're doing a little bit of everything, farming and PvPing, it's, it's kind of a perfect mix. Oh wait, what? Bro, someone's raiding Dragonfang. Is that my base? Oh no, it's not. Bro, I thought it was my base. I'm gonna try to... I'm obviously gonna try to find them, I'm gonna try to counter. Bro, we get a Dragonfang as well, I'm gonna be so happy. There's literally no... There's a lot... I don't hear anything over here. Probably on the other side then, like somewhere around Seattle. Alright, here we go, let's try to find that. Oh, there's a loot pile. Oh, sentry. Well, the person that that was raiding, I guess, died to the sentry. There's no way, right? I need to try to get to that loot. That's the, that's the only thing I could try to get. Oh, wait, what? Oh, bro, that has dragon things and everything. The thing is, though, the owner's definitely gonna come back. So what I gotta try to do is, I'm just gonna do plates. Maybe I could try to make a shot, say. I don't think it'll allow it, though. Bro, hello? Yeah, it won't work. Alright, so I just need to do plates then. And then I'll go to the loot. I don't know what the hell. I, I, I do have a little bit of plates. I have one plate. <laughs> I think it's gonna be enough. Alright, let's just put that there. I don't know if the other one can shoot me. I'm just gonna destroy this, salvage it. I gotta do this quickly before the owner comes back. And then I'll home instantly. Alright, yep. Yep, there it is, Dragon Fink PW Heartbreaker. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's take the box. Let's kill them. Take everything. So I'm currently over here completely naked. I just suicided. Trying to get in loot for um for charges. There's more people around though. Yeah, they TP'd back obviously. He's dead. I'm dead. Ah, uh, it's a duo. Alright, I'm trying to get stuff to make more charges, even though we have the defang, but I want to go with charges to raid. You know, we spawned close. I'm trying to get raw and grenades more than anything. We have wire and metal, that's not really a problem. Alright, boys, time to do an insane base raid. Let's hope we get something good. I brought some charges. Really hope that... Uh, and we're through, but... Okay, this is not really that good. Peacemaker, some metal. I mean, hey, <laughs> my goal was to raid the base. We are raiding a base. Let's see what's inside this one by one. It's not really a lot to raid on the server. Oh, you got a lease back and a bunch of metal. Okay, you know what? Oh, there's actually a bunch more boxes. Yuri will take that. Schofield. Wood Heartbreaker. And some ammo. Monster key. A bunch of metal. We'll take the metal any day. We do need the metal. All right, well, you know what? Not really a good raid, but we'll take, as I said, the metal. Metal is really nice. But hey, we've been on the server for literally like an hour. Only and we got this loot as a solo. We got Maple Strike, we got Dragon Fang, we got Detto, and we can make charges. Got ourselves two or three Elise packs, and we didn't kill any mega zombies or anything. 
we got most of it from raiding and from PvPing as well. So I'm really happy with it. W Rex Riches. So from all of that metal, I did make myself some more lockers, so that's really good. Now what I'm thinking is I'm gonna go to my first base and I'm going to bring everything. The Maple Strike, all of the stuff that I have over there, a bunch of guns basically, and uh, yeah, pretty nice, pretty good. So I have all of this metal too, actually. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably just make more lockers or wire. Yo, this thing just spawned. Yo, we got ourselves a tank. I'm gonna take the missile out. Hell yeah. And then if we need it, we'll come back. Oh yeah, we're back in base. Got myself some raw and some grenades still. Alright boys, so after that I did leave the server. I left with all of the good loot. That was a very nice little short solo Rex, which is basically showing you guys that it is possible to go from nothing to actually having some good loot as a solo. I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to join my Discord to get yourself a free skin and participate in the event and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!